Well, good day everyone. I am working on Chat Cat's fishing boat. Uh, Joe asked me if I would do the two year maintenance on his engine, so I've got it over here at my place. And the first thing I'm working on right now is uh, going ahead and getting the water pump replaced. And I thought I was recording video, and I was not, so I'm going to try to catch you up on what I was doing. Um, basically, we're working on a 40 horsepower Yamaha. It's a 2012 model. And uh, water pump's not as bad as you would think. Basically, um, you got to take the lower housing off, and that consists of four bolts. There's going to be two bolts on each side, two bolts over here. Up here, there is a bolt you got to take a rubber grommet out of, and there's a bolt down into there. And then when you take the bottom um, trim tab off there's a bolt that comes back up here so there's a total of six bolts that you have to take apart and once you take those bolts out the whole unit will start to slide down and then there's a little tube right here on the back on almost all that goes to a speedometer and you got to disconnect that tube and then the whole thing pops off um, and then once you get to here there is this housing that sets here with four bolts. You got to take these four bolts out, pop this out, and you're at the water pump impeller. So I've already pulled the old impeller off. Uh, the main thing to do is you grease everything back up when you're ready to put it back together. So I, I clean the shaft, I grease, I grease this bottom plate here, and the whole point is, is that you want to have it lubricated. Um, until the thing gets water on its first rotation. So just taking a little bit of grease here, uh, not a whole lot, and I'm also going to lubricate the ends of the, uh, the water pump veins so that um, it'll spin nice and easy inside until it gets seated and until it's in the water, and water provides the lubrication to that point. So we've gone ahead and we've lubed those up. Um, you can see in here the housing is still in really good shape So nothing there. I'm also going to go ahead and just put a real light coating of grease on the inside of this Nothing heavy. You don't want to clog anything up or do anything and then um, make sure that your Everything's pretty cleaned up um, also going to make sure this is especially clean in here. And now the other critical thing. As you can see, here's the old water pump impeller. And you can see the difference between the old and the new. This one's been worn. You can see the way the veins are rotated. And it looks like this was starting to come apart in there. So it's a good thing that we went ahead and did it because there's already parts. You can see the cracking of the veins in there. This water pump was probably getting ready to fail here. So really good thing that we did. Um, and you can see the way that when you're put when you put these things down you have to rotate them to make sure that they're in the correct direction. So you'll want to rotate clockwise on one of these. So what you're doing is as you push this down you're going to rotate it to make it snap into its position. So what you're doing as you come down here is when you get to this point you rotate the shaft and seat it down in there and then voila. Then what we'll do is we'll take our I can find them. Take our four bolts. We'll go ahead and get these installed. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So you don't want to over tighten any of this stuff. This stuff doesn't need to be super tight. You want it firm. You don't want anything getting loose. But you just want some good, nice pressure just to make sure everything is seated down. And you want to kind of evenly tighten everything up. Okay, and you're back in business. So, next thing is make sure that um, go ahead, get all the old grease off of the gear parts. And then, like I said, you want to make sure that this, uh, where the water outlet connects, try to keep that nice and clean. And you can see up in here where it connects. Here is the tube. Just take a minute, kind of clean that up as well. Nothing real fancy. Okay, and then when you're ready to start putting this back together, you want to take some grease. Make sure you grease the top, the splines up here really well. Grease these. You can be kind of generous with this stuff. This is a shifter right here. This is the main drive. On smaller motors like this, I can do it okay on my own without any help. A little bit larger motor, and this is going to be a little more difficult to, to do because this lower unit can weigh quite a bit. So, first thing is uh, get your unit kind of over into position. Make sure you got a bolt ready to go. And it's going to be, like I said, there's four bolts holding it on. You got two here, you got the two there. And once you get all that lined up, then you can get a bolt started. All right. <clears throat> like I said, once you get your first one up in there, then you want to go around, start installing all your other bolts. So, like I said, there's two on this side. <clears throat> there's two over on this side. Same place. Just kind of get them started. Then there's this long one. And if you look, this goes right up in here. That one's a little bit tougher to get at. So. Get everything in there. But when you're all said and done, you want to make sure that everything is really um, not overly tight. But you want to make sure everything's got a real good snug to it. But don't do them one at a time. Get everything snugged up. That way it's nice and even pressure. And then there's the, the anode. And when you take this off, you want to make sure that you make a mark on here in order to mark which direction that thing goes so that you can line it back up. This one was dead in the center so I didn't bother marking it because 
it wasn't offset at all and usually on these smaller uh, motors it kind of isn't quite as critical as it is on some of the some of the bigger ones and then there's also this little trim this little anode and these things are sacrificial anodes and so long as they look good you don't have to do anything about them but they're made to corrode before everything else I had a little difficulty getting that screw out of there so I'm just gonna put a little bit of lubricant on that and that thing slid right in here and then this bolt came from the top and you got to kind of get it all lined up in there that can be a little bit of a, a, f a fun time Looks like I got it though. Okay, nice and tight. And then this has the little plug that goes over it. You just snap that back in. And there you have it, water pump replacement is done. All right, another thing, how the water pump impeller is done next thing I want to do is do an oil change so what you'll want to do is um, get your motor trimmed pretty much all the way down kind of get it about as far as you can get it <clears throat> the oil drain will vary on your engine here it happens to be right here so I gotta get some stuff kind of ready to to uh, get my pan ready to go and I gotta find which socket is gonna work for that um, seems like everything else on this engine has been about 12 millimeter and it doesn't look like this is going to be 12, so I'll do the other size that everything seemed to be. And that is definitely what it is. So it looks like it is a 9 16th, which is kind of a common oil plug. Looks like I'm going to need a, a little bit more torque on it. So I'll get my bigger... socket okay now Doesn't hold a tremendous amount. You want to make sure that you got your plug back in there tight. And then, folks, make sure you clean up stuff when you're done. Um, don't just take it out to the water and run it. This kind of stuff gets in the, you don't want oil getting in the water. So, take some time 
do a good cleanup. You can go take it to a car wash, do something. Just prevent it from oils and contaminants from getting into the, the water. So, Okay, now the next thing we got the oil out and drained is we got an oil filter over here which we need to replace. <clears throat> I got my parts right here. This is the an oil change kit. Picked it up at the Yamaha dealer. And he says this has everything in it, so we'll see. So it's got our Yama Lube. Looks like it's got our funnel. And it's got our little oil filter. So, it's got one of these on the drain plug. So I'll probably pull that out and go ahead and put the new gasket on it. Sure, you got some paper towels or something stuffed in underneath the oil filter. You can just take a, I just take a big wrench like this. And you just turn that oil filter. And there we go. We'll go ahead and toss toss that old filter. <clears throat> Make sure you take the plastic off of this stuff. Okay? And then you can even take a little bit of old oil, it doesn't matter, just just enough, just lubricate that o-ring up a little bit. I'm just gonna clean. You know, make sure I got the worst of the oil out of the way there. And we're going to go ahead and stick the new oil filter on. And on these, I pretty much just like to go just a little bit beyond, like, super finger tight. <clears throat> so there we go. Okay. All right. This one came with this handy-dandy little funnel-y thing, so... That being said, <clears throat> I can throw that out. Okay, let's just check it again. Yep, and it looks like it's at a really good level, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, so we got the oil change done. We got the okay. The next thing we're gonna do is replace the lower unit oil. So what I like to do for this, go ahead and trim your motor up. <clears throat> I want to get 
your pan or whatever underneath and you locate your screw there's your fill there is your fill and there is your drain okay so this has got a drain right here not looking too bad right now and then you want to go ahead and loosen your top make sure your seals are good on them these look really good okay and let that drain out and that's one reason I said you want to kind of trim it up so that everything in the gear case runs to the back. And I have a, but you know, if you just keep up with it, you probably should change the oil every year. Um, depending on how much you use it, but every year is a good idea. This one needed it. <clears throat> this one really needed maintenance. The water pump was going bad on it um the oil definitely need needed change the oil filter seemed to be a little bit clogged the gas filter had you know it was it was getting bad too Not screwdriver and really make sure that those things are tight okay folks I don't know, it's a 70 plus pound fish, along with one that's probably about 35 or 40. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs>